go there with her dad in the scribbled as well, yes? And that's correct for mum, dad, and gran on mum's side, correct? Yes. Okay, now I want you to understand that as they all step forward, it's very much like your mum's boss and everybody about. So she's going to want to come in as if to say, right, son, I'm going to tell them all what to do. She would be a good bouncer in here, by the way, because she would literally <laughs> levitate across the table and throw people out. Seeing what I want people to understand is your mum's got a massive character and she would be very bossy, correct? Yes. Okay, and, I'm, and, and you have to understand she's a little shy. And she's actually standing here that she's ready to take on Mike Tyson and his pals. But I get that sense where it's like, I'm rolling my seats up, son, so I don't care. So that sense where that's the way that mum, people who don't know your mum, that's a good way to describe what your mum would be within her character, correct? Yes. Okay, and you understand this symbology of rolling up her sleeves where she's getting things done, she went, I'm always, the sleeves are always rolled up, correct? Yes. Okay, now she does have a young man with her in the spirit world, and I will come to the young man in a moment, but she says the boy's with me. So I want to just understand this young man passed very tragically to the spirit world. I feel like I might be going slightly over where that might connect to this lady and gentleman there, but I, I, will, I will be um, there in a moment. Thank you. Um, mum, <laughs> she's, she says I've got my tech book. So clearly when she went to the spirit world, somebody owed her money. She said, before I say anything else, so am I correct to say that like, your mum had her own wee kind of, if, you, if she bothered you a five, it was five pound fifty. <laughs> yes, correct. Okay. She says, I'm sorry to hear my tech book. She went, you better tell us. She says, I'm, I, so that would be correct that, and the way that I'm describing that, yes? Okay. Um, and you understand where she's been a bit sassy, darling? She's a wee bit kind of spicy in her character, like, you know, there's if to say, tell her about her book. So she wants people to know that she's the boss and that she doesn't miss a trick, correct? Yes. Okay, now you've got the same face as your mother, she says to me. So that look that you give people is the same growl that your mother would give. <laughs> That's correct, isn't it? And, and it's that kind of sense where you don't even realise that you're doing this space. But people who know this lady, I feel like, but you look very much like your mother. I know that that's very cool. And I do feel that as your mum says, they all could try and say you look like your father's side, but you don't, you look like me. And I, I want your mum, your mum, listen, we're all whatever, she's got a big, big heart on her, but my God, it's a heart of stone sometimes. She says, I was quite happy to be cold if I needed to be cold. And that's correct as well, isn't it? <laughs> um, she does say that her hair was better than yours, so she says that I feel like, you have to understand that her hair looked softer and fuller and more juiced and she says not yours. Um, so am I, am I correct in the way darling that your mum would be very critical with her information or if she had a personal something to pick out on you? You were ready for your bed and you walk in the door you say you're not wearing that. You know, that. That's kind of that attitude that she has, correct? Yeah. Okay, she says now I'm saying all this to you so you know I'm here. She says but I'm as true as much as you must be. Oh. She says, and I don't like to get emotional, she says, and neither does my lassie. She says, but I'm going to let her know that I miss her. Oh. Okay? But she misses that because why, my God, could your mum give a hug? Yeah. 